and talk about a very controversial topic on the Pix11 Facebook page alone. It's been lighting up in the last hour, hour and a half, dozens of comments. Keep them coming. It's all about this document released by the New York Civil Liberties Union that's a detailed analysis of NYPD stop and frisk numbers. They show that the overwhelming majority of people stopped and frisked, about 88%, are innocent. It also shows that in certain demographics, the number of stop and frisks is higher than the actual number of people. And that is just the beginning. When police suspect a person of anything from looking suspicious to having committed a crime, often they stop him or her. Sometimes they frisk the person. A new report says they do it far too often. It is not the kind of targeted, sophisticated policing that we have every right to expect from the NYPD. They're better than that. Her organization, the NYCLU, made a detailed analysis of the NYPD's records neighborhood by neighborhood overall. It shows that the number of stop and frisk incidents has increased 700 percent in the last 10 years but also in nearly every police precinct citywide, guess who cops have stopped and frisked the most? While just over half of New York City residents are black or Latino, look at the percentage of people stopped and frisked, 87. And when you break it down by age, get ready. Black and Latino males between the ages of 14 and 24 constitute about 5% of the city population, or they account for 41 almost 42% of stops. But look at this, even though blacks and Latinos are stopped far more often than anyone else, less than 2% of all stops result in weapons being found. When whites are stopped, which is pretty rare, well, it's double the percentage of stops result in weapons being found. That really refutes the NYPD's claim that stop and frisks take dangerous weapons off the streets. But look, let's be honest here. The crime rate has gone down considerably in the last 10 years. Surely stop and frisk has something to do with that. Well, the public advocate, someone who's been very critical of stop and frisk, agrees that it has helped to lower the crime rate by some 36% in the last 10 years. He says, however, it's being abused. He's calling for a reduction in the number of stop and frisks, possibly to be about a third the rate that it is now. Reporting from the Harlem, East Harlem, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News. Thank you, James. Jurors